Hello, my name is Kate Hodge from Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 3, She Wolf of London, Rapid Fire, and many more. <laughs> and I'm on Slash a Peppa. How are you doing? I'm doing so well. I'm actually doing really, really well. I just moved back to Los Angeles and uh, started working again. So it's exciting. Very awesome. Very awesome. Yeah. So you have new projects coming up uh, then? Yes, I have a, a project on Full Moon Features app. I know that's a big horror app that yep. people <laughs> Um, I'm on a, a series or called Beyond the Resonator. And then I just finished filming a film called The Headless Horseman with Asylum Features. And I play a drug dealer's paper maker, document maker. Like you need a passport, you need a driver's license. I'm ah, girl. I see. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really exciting. And then last weekend I just did monster palooza a big um what you would call it convention right pasadena i lot, met a lot of fans and it was really fun what's that been like it was that your first convention have you done more no i've done a lot of them i've been doing them for about 10 years now oh awesome yeah what's it been like you know getting to meet some of the fans uh that might be watching now actually hello fans <laughs> <laughs> um It was really fun. We, um, I get a lot of questions about, I mean, the, my first convention 10 years ago in, in Kentucky, Louisiana, um, I had a young girl come up to me and almost in tears, oh. how much she wolf had helped her get through high school and made her strong. And I just started crying. I was like, Oh my gosh, it really does I bet. Know, it affects everyone. And, Met a lot of Leatherface fans. Obviously. Signed a lot of toy chainsaws. <laughs> so ever since then, it's like the, the horror fans are the best fans in, in the world. They're so sweet. They're so kind. They're so, they're just so loyal. Right. Yeah, they're it's really, really funny you mentioned that because uh, whenever I do ask about conventions, usually that's the answer you get while you know, people that might not be in this, you know, sort of underground horror community pretty much yeah. uh, would think we're all psychopaths, but we're the kindest people for real. Right, right. You think, oh my God, they're going to slash you. And right. Like, <laughs> like the sweetest. Exactly. Fun. And lots of people talk, ask about um, Brandon Lee because I did Rapid Fire. I know there's a documentary coming out about Brandon Lee that I was... Um, interviewed for but i don't know what it's called i'll have to put that up on my kate hodge facebook fan page yes i'll definitely link uh the page in the description so anyone can check it out okay awesome and i'm working on getting like a professional instagram because i'm i'm behind the times i've been out of the business for about five years so i'm just getting back into it and it's really really fun right well it's good that you actually like think it's fun though and uh are, it seems like you're really excited and uh enjoying yeah. it so far yes it's my favorite thing to do I'm like why did I stop doing this and then I came back to LA got back in touch with my um manager who I've known for going on 30 years no probably 25 years so I'm getting my demo reel together putting in some new Uh, so my a network guest spot in 2019 so it's like i have to get my demo reel up to date so i don't look 25 because i don't i'm not 25 <laughs> right <laughs> yeah and then about that what is it like looking back at a uh, letter face now just in terms of filming um what was that like and looking back at it now how do you feel about the film and overall your performance um pretty proud of my performance actually it was my right. first it was my first i think it was my first or second acting job my first movie obviously and um to work with uh billy butler and vigo mortensen and greg nicotero who are all like um billy butler is actually now head of production 
in uh, Cleveland for Full Moon Features. Oh, nice. So uh, <clears throat> that's pretty cool. Yeah. It was funny, last Thanksgiving, I went to a big family reunion and my nieces and nephews are all between 25 and 30. And they all were at my sister's house and they all did a Leatherface watch party. <laughs> and they were like, oh my God, Aunt Kate, that was so cool. Like, <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Did you watch it with them? No, I'd gone to bed. Please. All right. <laughs> I'm a middle-aged woman. Right. <laughs> it was really sweet. And then... um I, I think I, I watched it recently and I, I thought it was pretty good. I love the tongue in cheek and Ken Foray is also still a good friend of mine. Billy, Greg Nicotero and Ken Foray are all going to be in Pittsburgh this weekend at uh, Living Dead Weekend. Nice. So, so that'll be fun for all of them. I was trying to get in it, but they said I wasn't a zombie. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a final girl. Yeah, I know, right? Right. And that's what I love about your character. Uh, you know, it kind of reminds me, one of my all-time favorites is the Blob remake. And uh, Shawnee Smith, I love her character because she starts out as uh, kind of an innocent cheerleader girl. And at the end, she's like this badass shooting the Blob with an AR-15. But for yes. you, I noticed last time, it's kind of the same thing, you know? Um, yeah. You know, I'm, like, I'm like scared and then I escape and then I'm mad and then I'm right. and I blow him away. Yeah, covered in blood. I love it. So cool. <laughs> it's really cool. The the director of Headless Horseman that I just finished, he's a real horror fan. And Jose Prentice, he's also known as Master of Chaos on YouTube. He said uh, in the script, he goes, one my one of the drug dealer asks me, how's the root looking, you know, from drug running right and so jose wanted me to throw in well there's roadkill all over texas but uh we're pretty clear <laughs> like, <laughs> or something. so i think the fans will like that for sure i bet <laughs> awesome that's what i was doing all weekend writing there's roadkill all over texas there's roadkill all over Texas. yes <laughs> i wanted um uh pretty Goddamn goody backwoods motherfucker. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Love yeah. it. Um, and uh, then here's a more random uh, question. What makes you smile? What makes me smile? My friends. My friends, my family, and my dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what kind of dog do you have? All dogs. I have a little. I'll show you my little dog. Oh. <laughs> She's sleeping on my unmade bed. <laughs> Why wouldn't <Snoring>. you? <laughs> Snoring away. Awesome. I'm a huge dog person myself. Love them. <laughs> They're the best. Yeah. Uh, and if you ruled the world, what would it look like? Oh my gosh. It would look like. Happy hour on Fire Island. <laughs> nice. But 24-7. 24-7. Everyone's just laughing and dancing and having fun. Happy life. Yes. Nice. I like that. Um, and, uh, well, this is a bit more negative. What's your biggest pet peeve? What is my biggest pet peeve? Um, oh, I just drove up to... Um, Northern California to visit my dad a couple of weeks ago and people driving crazy on freeways. Oh or, man. I can't stand. I'm like, you're going to kill yourself or you're going to kill someone else. And you were, wh what is your hurry? Yeah. Going like 95 miles an hour weaving through traffic that drives me bananas. Yes. Yes. I'm not going to have road rage, but I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. You're going to end up dead. Right. <laughs> I've had my driver's license for like a couple months only now, but it's really? already one of my biggest pet peeves. Um, really? Yeah. And I hate it when you look in the rear view mirror, you're already on the left lane, you know, 
because uh, sometimes there are only like two lanes, right? On the right. right lane, there are people that are going way too slow. So I'm like on the left lane going a bit over speed limit, but not like crazy or anything. And then there's someone like pushing on my uh, bumper, you know, and I'm like, dude, I'm already going too fast. Like, what do you want me to do? And you look at your rear view mirror and you see the dude going like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Then you got to turn. I, that's what I do. I stay in, well, in, I guess in the States, it's the right lane is slow. I think that's what you said. Yeah. So I stay in the right yes. lane. And then if I'm behind, like, you know, a big old truck full of lawnmowers and stuff. Right. It, but I'll get right back in. Yeah. And I noticed it was so interesting. Like once, then all the speeders seem to come at the same time. And then they, they all pass me. Right. No one behind me. And then all of a sudden the next group of speeders come. Yep. I like to be in the middle of the highway with a lot of people in front of me and a lot, no, no one behind me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's funny. It, it seems like everyone is doing something different. Either people are going too slow or too fast, you know, yeah. but uh, no one can get it right. No. <laughs> <laughs> Except I. Yes. We're perfect. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then here's the final question. If your life was a movie, how would you want it to end? Oh. I think I would like to be at happy hour on Fire Island. <laughs> <laughs> Just like in my little wheelchair, rocking out. Right. Yep. <laughs> with, all, with no grudges. I've made amends with everyone, you know, just peacefully. Yeah. And definitely in my sleep. Right. Like go yeah. to a big party and then go to bed and not wake up. Right. I want it to be quick. You know, just I mean, not, not now, but you know. <laughs> just years. Quiet from... a few more years. Yes, many, many years. <laughs> awesome. Is there uh, anything you would like to add to the interview? Um, just that it's so cool to speak to some, my, my sister lived in, uh, what's not Utrecht. Is that Holland? Yeah. Yeah. That's Holland. Yeah. Yeah. They, she, the, her husband started working for, um, uh, Avery labels at a factory there way back in 1992. Before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> But I went to visit there and I, I love Holland. The, the, there's Soost. That's what they live, Soost. Oh, right. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. So it was so fun to, to be there. I was there for a couple of weeks and it's a great country. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, well thank you for the kind words about Holland then. <laughs> Go Holland! Yes. <laughs> You're awesome. welcome, darling. Great to meet you. Yes. Nice to meet you too.